Shalom. Shalom. First things first, we want to give all praises to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Brock of the Yahweh, Brock of the Yahweh Shai. And give double honors to the apostles and the elders, the great millstone that feed us with knowledge and understanding through the power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Much love to the elect brethren on the four corners of the planet Earth, holding on to faith, praying, and watching, because we're almost home. Um, this video is uh you can the original videos on Jason A's YouTube channel as you see right here on the screen and I usually try to spread his videos he makes a lot of good videos I suggest you subscribe to his channel and keep up to date I mean he has really good videos and cut pieces montages as you want to say um, but this video was something I was gonna upload but I thought it's I mean it's so powerful of a video that it deserves some scripts to it man and I mean, just hopefully, Lord willing, through the power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, this information can come out and show that look, we're in a time of trouble, man. Okay, Esau's Esau's been his his card has been pulled. He's out of the bag as the devil that he is. The world, is, the Lord has lifted up his skirt through these years. Now he has to make a move, man. All right, because he see the elite see the men waking up and the truth spreading, man. So now we're going to get into this and get into the scripts as best as I can. For a multi-state training exercise this summer called Jade Helm 15. While the military says it's just training soldiers for the realities of war, critics say the Army is preparing for modern-day martial law. What's happening is between July and September, a bunch of Green Berets, Navy SEALs, and Special Ops from the Air Force and Marines are conducting some realistic training exercises across the Southwest. The military says these are vital skills when it comes to an ever-changing threat. But in the slideshow of the training exercise, it says Texas will be simulated hostile territory. Residents of Broward, BSO, and other law enforcement agencies will be assisting the military as they conduct <coughs> training exercises in the skies over the next two weeks. So don't be alarmed if you see Black Hawk helicopters in the sky. These urban training drills will be similar to those conducted in Miami Dade last month. My kids love seeing them flying over. the book of Jeremiah 30 and verse 7 it says alas for that day is great so that none is like it it is even the time of Jacob's trouble but he shall be saved out of it for it shall come to pass in that day saith the Lord of hosts that I will break the yoke from off his neck and will burst the bounds and the strangers shall no more serve themselves of him so you see these things that are happening in the streets man you seen that you seen them taking people and rounding them up in the streets, man. So they're called dissidents. They're calling those people dissidents, man. So you, you, I'll play it again so you see. says alas for that day is great so that none is like it it is even the time of Jacob's trouble but he shall be saved out of it This is the book of Micah 5 and 1. 
Now gather thyselves in troops, O daughter of troops. He have laid siege against us. They shall smite the judge of Israel with the rod upon the cheek. Because you got now these troops that are getting, because what is... Because what do we know as how did uh, the tribe of Gad fall to troops, to cavalry? So we know in the reincarnation or in the, how you say, in the, in, the time, in the time of advancements, that's the same troops coming back. Okay? But now the Most High is going to have these troops go against Israel and go because two-thirds of our people have to fall by the sword, man. That's why we hope and pray that we're a part of that elect. And then it says two-thirds of two-thirds of our people will be cut off and die and you're gonna have famines you're gonna have martial law you're gonna have time of, uh, of of different pestilences so this right here is just a part of that man read it again Micah 5 and 1, um, 1. now gather thyselves in troops O daughter of troops he have laid siege against us they shall they shall smite the judge of Israel with a rod upon the cheek Now picture this, more than a half dozen marine vehicles coming out of the water, moving on to shore. Inside, dozens of marines ready to respond to any threat. That's exactly what happened today at Naval Station Mayport. As First Coast Union reporter Andrew Capasso explains, it's all part of a training exercise involving marines from all across the state. I did not have uh, my, my camera on. It was I woke me up, but it was two Chinooks. Two giant Chinooks flying in tandem. Now it's two black military helicopters. I don't know what the hell's going on, but it's a lot of military activity in the skies over my house today. I don't know if you can see that one too. I mean, this is just black helicopter day. Military helicopters everywhere. Everywhere we've gone. This is probably, this is the fifth that I've seen with my own eyes today. Right there. This is Job 19 in verse 9. He has stripped, he says, he, he has stripped me of my glory and taken the crown from my head. He have destroyed me on every side and I am gone. And my hope hath he removed like a tree. 
he have also kindled his wrath against me and have counted me unto him as one of his enemies. His troops come together and raise up their ways against me and encamp around about my tabernacle. Read it again, Job 19 and verse 10. He have destroyed me on every side and I am gone and mine hope have he removed like a tree. He, he have also kindled his wrath against me and he counted me unto him as one of his enemies. His troops come together and raise up their ways against me and encamp round about my tabernacle. Because the Lord is going to force Esau to come against the, the, the scoffers and the, the people that are going to receive judgment, man. Esau's a sword. It's a sword. It's the sword of the Lord, man. We have our people that have grown comfortable in, in, in oppression and slavery, man. So the the Most High is forcing the Esau to it, to ramp up his uh his his old self. It, it, see, he ain't really his old self. He's always been like that. But he's ramping up that that sword mentality, that warlike mentality. That's martial law. <laughs> Yeah, they're just kind of flying right overhead. Yeah, check this out. And we have a Apache helicopters flying at low level over residential neighborhoods. I just want to go ahead and post it. This is the book of Second Ezra. 15 and verse 15 it says for the sword and their destruction draweth nigh and one people shall stand up and fight against another with and swords in their hands for there shall be sedition among men invading one another they shall not regard their kings nor princes and the and the course of their actions shall stand in their power a man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able because of the pride of the cities shall be troubled you see that because it says for because of the pride the city shall be troubled and the houses shall be destroyed and men shall be afraid so you see they're doing coast to coast they're doing uh state to state uh training man so they're they're planning for these cities to be troubled because that's what martial law is you're gonna have cordon you're gonna have uh you're gonna have uh curfews you can't go certain places you can't leave at certain times so that's the time that's that's approaching man let me tell you something ladies and gentlemen there are people in our government a rogue outfit whatever I'm not sure who are actually behind these terrorist acts and the reason they're behind the terrorist acts is so they can pass bills like the Patriot Act. If you read their material, you'll see that it's designed to discredit people like me, former state senator John DeCamp, and other leaders who are trying our best to expose what's happening in America today, and actually around the world. Let's go back to 1776, May the 1st, Adam Weishaupt was commissioned by the Rothschild family to set up the goals to control and take over the world with a one world government. The satanic cults are, along with our covert criminal enterprise within the government, a serious threat 
to our society. And I thank you very much. They seek to keep you in a distracted, naive bubble. And they are doing a damn good job of it. In 2005, Congress, under the pretense of immigration control and the so-called war on terrorism, passed the Real ID Act. You will be required to carry around a federal identification card, which includes on it a scannable barcode with your personal information. However, this barcode is only an intermediary step before the card is equipped with a Verichip RFID tracking module, which will use radio frequencies to track your every move on the planet. Arizonans may now want to start looking into getting a passport. By 2016, all IDs must comply with the Real ID Act. Well, how about this? Take a look at your driver's license right now. What if I told you, even if it wasn't expired, you may not be able to use it? New federal driver's license requirements have some people questioning if their IDs are okay or not. It's part of the Real ID Act. At Sky Harbor Airport today, news that Arizonans would need a passport to get past the TSA beginning in 2016 left some travelers visibly surprised. Instead of a driver's license, that it would be a mandatory yeah. requirement. That's going to lead into the chip, man. That's going to lead into that RIFD chip. So I'm going to get these last verses to show you what time we're at, we're headed to. This is the book of uh, Daniels. This is uh, Daniels 12. In verse 1, it says, and at that, it says, And at that time shall Michael stand up, the great prince which standeth for the children of thy people. And there shall be a time of trouble such as never since there was a nation, even to, to that same time. And at that time thy people shall be delivered, every one that shall be found written in the book. So now you see these things that are coming, man. And, and, and we've been warned of these things, but I also wanted to give some verses to sort of uplift the elect, man. Lord willing, we'd be a part of that number. Okay? That's how we, we, we hope and pray and we, we just do due diligence and hope we, we can see that, that salvation, man. This is the book of Luke 21. And uh, this is 21 in verse 19. It says, But there shall not a hair of your hair. Uh, let me start at verse 16. And ye shall be betrayed both by parent and brethren and kinfolks and friends. And some of you shall they cause to be put to death. And ye shall be hated of all men for my name's sake. But there shall not a hair of your head perish. In your patience, possess your souls. See that? So the Lord, hey, the Lord was praying for us, man. And this, these times that were coming, he, he told us, man. The times back then, of course, the men of the Lord was put to death. But then these times that are coming, he said he's not going to push. push. The teachers shall not be pushed into a corner no more. That's why the elders are out here flourishing, man. And then, uh, let me get this next verse. This is the book of Psalms. This is Psalms 90, 93. <clears throat> this is Psalms 93. And we'll start at verse, uh, or 94, Salakia. 94 and 13. It says that, that thou mayest give him rest from the days of adversity. Adversary, adversity until the pit be digged for the wicked for the Lord will not cast off his people neither will he forsake his inheritance but judgment shall run return unto righteousness and all the upright in heart shall flow flow um, shall flow it shall follow it who will rise up against the evildoer or who will stand up against the workers of iniquity Unless the Lord had been help, my soul had almost dwelt in silence. So the Lord is going to be our help, man. That's why he told us this uh, this verse right here. This is the book of uh, Proverbs. 14 and... Uh, I 
Bible started 30 it says the sound heart is the life of the flesh but the envy uh, Salaki on that I end with this one right here this is Isaiah 33 and 6 and it says the wisdom and and wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy time and strength of salvation. The fear of the Lord is his treasure. So with that, I'm gonna give all praise to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, the bonus to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Much luck to the elect brethren on four corners of the planet Earth. Keep faith. Time's at hand, keep faith.